clear. Any civilians live? Who's there? Jacob. How bad? I'll live. <laughs> I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob! Oh my god! Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Thanks, and you as well. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. You know this guy, Jacob? Or ex -Cerberus? He worked with me to stop the Collectors. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jamie. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, I've tried putting all that behind me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element, not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? 
I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? I recommended we shut it down, but the elusive man insisted otherwise. I had no choice but to stay on. I couldn't leave my brother alone, so I continued our research with the Geth. You mean you kept torturing him? Eventually he learned to control his emotions, for the most part. Then one day he simply stopped responding. His vitals were strong, but his mind... I think he lost the will to live. So what did you do? The only thing I could. I ended his misery. My only salvation left in this life is hoping the research proves useful against the Geth. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, I know leaving my brother behind wasn't an easy choice, but some good can come from what he endured. This is everything our experiments taught us about controlling the Geth. I pray you'll find it useful. Take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did you maintain secrecy with that many? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped the ante. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survive one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? 
So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. 